Okay. I think we're good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being on. Um, first of all, I want to honor you for taking the time to be on this call. You could be doing a million other things, um, but instead you're plugging into your business and there's just a tremendous amount of value in doing that. Um, I was on a different random call earlier today, just listening to somebody speak as a motivational speaker, somebody who's really successful. And he said, you know, don't be, and he said Bob, but I don't want to say Bob because we love Bob Maps, <laughs> but his, his name was Bob. Okay. He's like, don't be Bob who signs up for a business, all excited, never goes to any trainings, never shows up to any meetings, but he never misses a Netflix appointment. And I thought it was hilarious because that happens a lot. Right. So I want to make sure we're not talking about Bob Mapstead. First of all, we love Bob Mapstead, <laughs> but secondly, I thought it was so funny because it's so true. People are super fired up until it means, oh, I got to show up for stuff, right? So um, again, honoring you guys for showing up to these trainings. They are invaluable because they help you grow your business and it's free, which is amazing. And we're going to get to hear from some amazing ladies tonight. So before I hand the, the call over to these powerhouse ladies, I do want to go over a couple of things that are really exciting. We had an ambassador call today and um, we get to talk to Keith Halls and just the corporate staff about like what's coming. You guys, so many exciting things. So make sure that you book time out for the convention, the virtual convention that's happening on Saturday. It starts at 11 CST. Book as much of that day out as you can, okay? Ask for help from the spouse or do what you got to do to make sure that you can be as plugged into that as possible. There are going to be so many nuggets, so much value that's shared on that. You don't want to miss that, okay? I will tell you so many people who've gone to a convention, that one thing, that one nugget, that one takeaway is the thing that changed their entire business sometimes, and you might miss it if you're not able to really plug in. So plug into that. Um, some of the things that are really exciting, you guys, about what's happening on Saturday is obviously the convention is virtual. That is a big deal. You know, many of us, um, are excited because that means everyone can be on, right? It's not just limited to those who could have afforded or were able to travel before. Um, beautiful that we can all be on. There is obviously a new product being launched on Saturday, okay? It's a big freaking deal. Like straight up, you guys, it is amazing. I'm telling you right now, it's like happy coffee gone happier, okay? No exaggeration, it feels amazing. Um, even like I'm so much more patient with my kids on happy coffee and I'm so grateful for that. But even still, right? Like they can get a little bit um, annoying sometimes. <laughs> Sorry for being so honest. That's just the truth. And um, I noticed that on this, even the stuff that would normally like back to back to back kind of like set me off, right? Like, oh gosh, here we go again. I've told you so many times not to do that, right? it's not even phasing me. It's like the craziest thing, right? Yesterday, my seven-year-old was like back to back to back, not listening at all, like doing all the things that he's not supposed to do. He knows better. And um, normally the final straw would be like sitting at the dinner table and then he just like spills everything everywhere after I've asked him to nicely sit down, right? And normally I'd be like, dude, really? <laughs> but last night I was just like, it's fine. Accidents happen. It's okay. Can you please sit where I asked you to sit? That would be awesome. But it was so much more like, like I felt way more peace about it. Okay. So I'm really excited for what's coming. I know how it's impacting me. Um, and I'm really, really excited for how you're going to love this because I know you will. So we have a new product launch. Very, very exciting. The purpose of this call tonight, you guys, is going to be the ladies that are going to share are going to give you tips and tricks on how to create the biggest new product launch you possibly can. Okay. They're going to set you up for success as long as you take action and start doing those things. The other thing I'm super excited about you guys is that there are going to be new product packs for affiliates. That's super exciting. Okay. There's going to be a product promo. Okay. I can't give details. I probably shouldn't even say this. So be thankful. <laughs> Like, I probably shouldn't even say this, but there's going to be a product promo that's for customers and affiliates, you guys. And it is super generous, super exciting. I'm not spilling it, Bobby. <laughs> I'm not doing it. This is recorded. Um, so that's really, really exciting, you guys. Um, let's see. There was another thing I wanted to share. Okay. Um, so the other thing, you guys, I definitely wanted to share 
is that Keith Halls gave us a challenge. Okay. Yes, I do want to tell you, Cindy, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, Keith Hulse gave us a challenge today and I really liked it. And the, the value behind it is just really big. He said, my challenge to each of you and to your teams, so share this with your teams, is to bring on three new affiliates before Saturday. Like, er, what? That's crazy talk, right? But it's actually not. The business has been growing so tremendously. There are so many new people joining Elevosity by the day, we had 2,500 new people join the business um, within the company in the last two weeks, which is a big deal. And the truth is, you guys, we, I'm on conversations, I'm on phone calls all day long, right, of people just excited, we're doing welcome calls, getting them started. And almost, I would say nine out of 10 of these calls are people that are like, well, normally I would never be interested in this, but I can't help but see so-and-so is so happy all of the time. So-and-so is so excited about this coffee all of the time. And I really do need an extra Hold on one sec, guys. Okay, we're good. So all of them have said, normally I wouldn't be interested in this, but so the takeaway from that, you guys, is make sure you're having those bold conversations. Those conversations, whether it's somebody who's been a customer or somebody who you're just close with and in contact with. Um, yeah, let's see. Let me answer that question really quick. Um, no, I wouldn't wait until after convention. Absolutely not, because you want them to share in the excitement of convention, right? It's a virtual convention. And so the reason that Keith is challenging us to bring on those new affiliates is so that when they get started, they're starting with all of this excitement with us. They see, you know, the virtual launch of the products and the packs and all of this stuff. It's a big deal for those people to be able to participate in the excitement. Um, and of course, the products that are launching that day. So um, the other thing that I wanted to share you guys is what I was told in the past about conventions is the more people that you can take to a convention with you from your team, right, right, whether it's one or two or however many that you can bring to the convention with you, you can expect your business to grow by $1,000 per person. That was like the actual stats that somebody had come up with, right? And I will tell you, I was a little leery on that because I'm like, meh, I don't know about that. Um, but it happened. We had so much growth after the last convention. So my encouragement to you is to make sure you're communicating the excitement and the importance of this digital event with your teams. Okay. If you don't have a team yet, that's okay. You know, share your excitement with your customers or your friends and family anyways about the convention as well as the new products and everything we've got going on here. Okay, guys. So I don't want to take any more time on this. I just really want to hand it over to these wonderful ladies. Um, We'll start with Hillary Thompson. You guys know and love her. She is awesome. She is, she has been the top of sales. I, I don't even know how many times. She was top of sales for Black Friday, which was amazing. She was top of sales for the Chai Tea launch. And she has a little system and tips and tricks for you guys that she's really happy to share. And amazing. Yes. In the company, <laughs> like not just our team in the company. So really, really exciting that she wants to pour into you guys. So Hillary, um, thank you so much for being willing to share with everyone. And I'm going to pass it to you, girlfriend. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I, I just give all glory to God. Number one, always for things, because I, if you really truly knew me, you'd be like, how, what? <laughs> You're not really that organized, but there are certain things when I set my mind to it, like it's organized, it's done. So if you're like, well, I'm just not that person. Here's the deal. Normally I'm not that person, but just like anything in life, if something really matters to you and is important, you're going to find a way. You're going to find a way. You're going to find a way for it to matter. And I'm going to be transparent. I didn't go out to do it to be number one. Like I never thought I would be number one, right? I went out to do it because I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited because let me just tell you, number one, I love a good deal. So like Black Friday was a no brainer for me. Like who doesn't love a sale, right? I have absolute faith, trust, belief, a hundred million percent in this company, in our products, what we have to offer. So when there's a challenge in front of me, you better believe I'm like, I'm running with it. Plus if it's attached to, I'm going to save some people some money and make them happy. Like 
yes, I'm all over it. So with that being said, thank you again so much, Melissa, for asking me to do this. And I hope you guys all know, whatever I say, I want you to take it and really make it your own. Don't at any point within your business, even try to be anyone but yourself right? Like try to be anyone but the best version of you. That's your audience. Your friends are your friends for a reason because they love you. They don't love me. I mean, maybe they do, but you know, <laughs> they're your friends, right? So be you, be real and authentic. And no matter what, if you preface everything that you're doing with, I just really want to help people. It's not about me that's when the magic happens because in my previous companies i was never on any list like they used to send out a list all the time and i wanted to be on that list i was never on that list you know how i got on that list i quit trying to be on the list <laughs> and then i got on the list i just went and did things and was excited so with that being said i'm going to give you some steps that i do and this is complete my squirrel syndrome self, but also I have to give everyone a backstory. If you don't know this, I had a decorating and design store and I went to school with interior design. I love design. I love all things pretty. I love all things organized and streamlined. God gave me that ability. I would come to your house and redecorate it in my head. Like it's just natural for me, right? So there are some things that just are natural for me. Find again, what's natural for you, what feels good for you, and fill in the gaps with other people's talents and abilities, right? Like, it's not a competition, we're a team, and we're all working together, and I've never seen something so beautiful as the team that we have here right now. So, I say all that because we're gonna get started. Are you ready? Get your pen and paper, okay? I'm gonna talk fast, squirrel syndrome, happens real fast, so I'm not gonna read the chat till we're done. <laughs> so first things first, I did something a little bit different this time than I did before, and that's because we've had so many amazing social media trainings. Like if you haven't watched, especially the latest one Stacey Bartley did in Team Redeem, like, or, yeah, no, not Team Redeem, <laughs> Elevation Empire, go watch it, it's so good. Um, so I'm a little bit mindful of, you know, like the one, two punch and how I'm going to do things, but changing your profile picture is like one of the easiest things to draw attention to your profile. A hundred percent. Facebook loves it. Like they love when you change your profile picture. I mean, I'm not saying change it like you change your underwear. <laughs> like we're not doing it every day. I hope everyone's doing that every day, by the way, but, um, change it up. Okay. So, I changed my profile picture and they do something super awesome. When you change your profile picture, they give you the opportunity to put a little caption in it, right? So I did something like I said, uh, Coco Chanel is quoted as saying, when a woman cuts her hair, she's about to change the world. You can quote me as saying, when a woman changes her profile picture, she's about to change the world. You know, something super exciting is coming. Um, whatever, whatever that looks like for you, again, your audience, your people, but just changing your profile picture, you're going to get on the radar of people, right? And that's what we want to do. We're setting the stage. We're laying the foundation. We're not going just on Saturday, messaging everyone and their mother. And they're like, what are you even talking about? <laughs> what are, what? Um, so do that. Change your profile picture. Super easy, really fun. Um, thing to do. So next thing, you're going to want to create a curiosity and excitement post. Again, you're going to hear me say excitement, excited energy a million times, because how can you not want to follow someone and be excited if someone's like, oh my gosh, here what's it? And you're like, what's going on? Okay. Yep. We're excited. <laughs> and you don't even know why you're excited. You're just following them. Right. Um, that's what you want. And especially, um, in such a time as this, right? Like you turn on the TV and there's a, there's an ad of, you know, dun, 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 like the sad music and we're here to help you. And, you know, it's like, let's be the happy people that are here to help people. And let me just say, like, I'm not downplaying what's happening at all. My significant other is laid off for a month right now, minimum, like, thank you, 
thank you Lord for, for the coffee business. We just had bought a new house. I mean, all the things, um, but just be excited, right? Like it's okay to be excited. I promise you, people want to see that. People are in my inbox all the time. Thank you so much for your positivity. Thank you for your post. It gets me through it. That's bringing, right? Now don't be fake, be real but be excited, show yourself, right? So that curiosity post, oh my gosh, I have something super exciting that is about to launch. Um, my, my friend, cause we're friends now, my friend Hillary said that she was secretly testing it and her opinion is the best one we've had yet. And I already love these products. I can't imagine what, what's gonna top what we already have. I want you to know first, message me or comment below to be on my VIP list. I've always done VIP list because for when people want to know, like people have FOMO a hundred percent, they don't want to miss out, especially now they're stuck home. They're already on their phone, right? They're already on their phone. They're already in front of, like, they want to know, they want to be a part of something. Okay. And we have something amazing for them to be a part of. So you create that curiosity and that excitement, you get a VIP list. The number one rule about a VIP list is this a VIP list. So if you're going to put someone's name on a VIP list, <laughs> you better make sure that you are messaging them before you're posting on Saturday about the new stuff, right? Because otherwise you're going to shoot yourself right in the foot and they're going to be like, well, that was dumb. Why did I even say I was, she hasn't even messaged me yet. And there she is running and posting stuff, right? So make sure you're using that list as an actual list. The next thing they should be in your cup of happy. If they are not already, they better be in your cup of happy. Same thing when you're gonna sample somebody, same thing. That group is magical, fairy dust and unicorns, everything amazing is that group, okay? So get them in that group off of your list, message them once they comment. I usually say something again, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You wanna be on my list, I can't wait for it. I also sent you an invitation. Did you hear that? I also sent you an invitation. I've already sent it. They wanted to be on my list. I sent them an invitation already. I'm not asking them, right? Like that's, that's where the posture comes from because who wouldn't wanna be in that group? Who wouldn't wanna be on that list, right? If you go into it like, oh, would you like to? It's like, well, I thought you were really excited and really confident. Like now we're getting mixing signals here, okay? So I, I sent you an invitation to our private online testimonial group. It's amazing. And here's the other thing is there will be in your cup of happy, there'll be a teaser post and I think Nancy and Enrique said it's either going to be like Thursday or Friday. So get that list out, right? And tag your people in that, right? You're creating that excitement and curiosity. What you're also doing is if you've already had people in your cup of happy that didn't see your other post, didn't comment on it, didn't want to be on the VIP list, now it's coming on their feet. Now they're curious. Now they want to know. Like, don't just assume that everyone's seen it, right? Don't, don't assume that. You want to make sure that everyone has seen there's something big coming, okay? Um, and that brings me to, if you've been here for a while, you have customers, maybe some of them haven't reordered or you have current customers, message them. I, I have an email campaign that I do. I've already sent out my first initial email to, to those people. Again, it's just all about excitement right? You, you don't even have to know. You don't know, right? Like, I don't know what's happening, but it's exciting, <laughs> right? So just message them, okay? And plus, again, if people want happy, people want to be happy, all right? So make sure that you are reaching out to all of your customers. Um, don't, don't be afraid, right? Because here's where it would be like a little bit scary for some people. Maybe you're thinking, well, I don't know, Bob ordered one month and then he didn't order again. And you know what? I haven't had the courage to go ask him why he didn't reorder. So I'm just not going to even, oh, Bob, we're just going to pretend Bob never talked to me, right? No, go to Bob. Be honest with Bob. Tell Bob, hey, Bob, I'm so sorry. I noticed you didn't reorder and I didn't even reconnect with you. Maybe it wasn't a good fit for you, but there's something new coming. Maybe that's going to be a better fit for you. You know, just be honest. Again, the moment that we like have that pause 
I feel like that's where we start to become a little bit of a weirdo. <laughs> like that's where we, that's where the weirdness and now we're a salesperson. Now we're not even real anymore. And now we're just trying to get a sale. So when you just follow that gut instinct and just be a normal human who wants to help people and is having friendships and conversation, like th that's what we're doing here, you know? Um, so you're going to be doing that. If you're brand new and you don't have an existing customer base, or maybe you're like, well, gosh, I don't know. Shoot. I just signed up and four people just already ordered this other coffee. Did I do something wrong? No, you didn't. We have amazing products already. We're just adding, adding to it. And again, there's a reason why we have different products. There's a reason why you go into a coffee shop. And it's not the same coffee all across the board. There's a reason why you can customize it, right? Because everyone likes different things. So it's okay to still message them and say, hey, I don't know, I know you just ordered, but now they're coming out with something else. Would you be interested? Again, we're not, I'm not trying to convince anybody. I'm just inviting them. I'm inviting them to purchase, right? People don't wanna be sold to, they want to buy. When you figure that out, that they just want to buy things they don't want to be sold to that's money too right because it changes your mind your mindset you're like flipping it like oh okay i'm just offering something right like think about your kids they want to have a, a lemonade stand on the corner people are just going by offering lemonade they don't they don't like it your kids aren't coming and crying they're like ah i can't wait for the next car maybe that one you know you got to have that same mindset because if you get hung up on the car that passed by that didn't order and you close your lemonade stand and you go in your house and you cry, you never can get your quarters. <laughs> you know, you're never going to succeed. Right. So don't close your lemonade stand. Like, keep going. It's OK. All right. Um, when the new product launches, too, this is really, really important when the new product launches you have your list you've written the people down you have the connections what i also like to do is send out a reminder or even on the post that i have made that curiosity post i'll be like oh my gosh i did this on the chai too and it was super effective oh my goodness t minus one hour until it drops t minus 30 minutes right because it's popping up it's relevant and people are like oh there's a countdown oh my goodness right so be messaging them the night before check in hey i'm super excited you're on the list i have it ready um it, it will be anywhere between 11 and 4 or whatever you know give them a time frame again this is relationships reconnect so um that's what we want to do. Oh gosh, I just heard. So hi Ricky. Hi Ricky. <laughs> he's, he's on the call. Okay. Anyways, see squirrel. That's why I shouldn't have looked. All right. So you're going to want to have all of that laid out and ready to go. So you can have those messages ready again. It's, it's the relationships. It's the excitement. Um, I'm sure that your cup of happy will have a video or um, a post or something of the new product. Again, tag people in there, get people excited because even those people that weren't on the list, they're like, oh my gosh, they're getting notifications. Something's happening, <laughs> right? Like that's what people are gonna think, like something's happening, what's happening, why don't I know, okay? The excitement, the energy, how can you not be attracted to that? People will be, people will be attracted to that. Um, stories, okay? I'm digressing just a little bit. So I typically have only ever done one actual post on my wall, one curiosity post. I like to keep it all right there of the VIP list, but you better believe in stories. I'm going to be like rolling out some serious polls <laughs> and like, keep it going, keep it going in my stories. Right. But on my wall, that's where I keep it streamlined because again, that's where I want to go back. I don't want to be all over the place, seven different posts and, asking people all over so on on that one post where i can go and say it's gonna launch or it's launched oh my goodness i'm messaging you all because again what that's gonna do is the people that didn't say they want to be on that list now they're like oh shoot she's messaging them i never said i wanted to be on that list what's happening again curiosity excitement fear of missing out and i would never ever be so excited to do this if i didn't a hundred million quad trillion whatever believe in what is coming out like because i'm not just gonna hype up a pile of poo okay you know i probably could they've said i can you know sell ice cream to an eskimo or 
like popsicle or what did I say? I don't know. My family's been saying this for years, right? I think it's a, a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. There it is. <laughs> I could sell that to her. But this is phenomenal. What we have is amazing. Like, be ready. Be ready. Melissa said this to me when I was contemplating coming in here. She said that, you know, she doesn't want this to be part of my regret story because I've been in the industry a while. I had some not so nice experiences, thought I was just going to lay it all down and I don't know, go clean people's teeth. I don't even know. I don't know how to do that, but whatever, that just came to mind. <laughs> so um, she said, I don't want this to be part of your regret story. Guys, I don't want this moment where this coffee is launching to be part of your regret story. I don't want you to miss out on it and go and say, gosh, I wish I would have done that. Look at those people. They're having fun. They're making sales. They're making people happy. They're, do, they're doing the things. You know, again, whether it's one person on your list, 100 people, 200 people, it matters. You matter. What you're doing matters. One person at a time. One person at a time. So, um, oh, Saturday. One other, one other thing. I have notes be proud of me. <laughs> so one other thing, on Saturday, I am working on creating some stories. You guys have loved the stories, right? Like, let's give props to Melissa and Gabby and Carly for those amazing stories and tools. Um, working on those for the people that have been testing the product so that we'll have those to launch in our stories along with our posts, right? And again, just be excited. Like, just be excited. How can you not? Like, don't you guys all want to be like, what is she selling? <laughs> what, what are we buying? Where are we going? Right? Like, the energy. I'm sweating. Come on. Someone else. Like, feel it. Get excited. We, we're, we're in an amazing place. The other stuff that's launching and dropping and um, just the fact that our company is doing this virtually for everybody. They could have charged us. They very well could have and should have probably charged us, right? Some sort of a fee to get the information. But because our company is so amazing and they want to see all of you succeed, just like all the leaders here want to see you succeed and be successful, because let me tell you, the top is no fun by yourself. The top is no fun by yourself. Um, I, was, I was on my walk today. I'm going to wrap it up with this. I was on my walk today and um, I go up this really big hill. It's probably not even that big, but I'm a little bit out of shape. Thank you, coffee, for making me skinny, but not really in shape. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm I'm walking up the I'm walking up the hill, and I get up the top, and it's so windy. It's so windy, and my kids had wanted to go up the hill with me, and I'm like, no, mommy needs you know this time for herself, and get up to the top of the hill. And I just had this thought and idea, kind of about how, um, as leaders. And as someone that's forging the way, we're all climbing that hill and getting to the top of that mountain to test it out, to make sure we're doing the hard stuff. We're doing the hard stuff because then when we have all of the stuff that's already laid down, we're coming for all the people and we're bringing them all up, right? We're elevating everybody. What we have here is amazing and it's truly, truly what the world needs. So I probably missed some stuff. I hope this helps. I can't wait for Bobby Joe's tips because she's phenomenal as well. Um, just be excited. If you take anything away from this, just be excited, do the steps, get your list, be prepared. But again, be excited. Be very excited. That's what I got. Thank you so much, Hillary. That was amazing, you guys. That was just solid gold right there. Thank you so much, Hillary. Everything you shared was so, so good. And I love that you opened it with like, hey, I'm not always the most organized person, but when I'm intentional with something, when I want to make it happen, I am, right? And girl, I completely relate to that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, my Zoom is acting a little funny. So if for some odd reason we get kicked off, hop back on, okay? Just putting it out there just in case because we do not want to mess this value and um 
yeah, I don't know what's going on. So anyways, Bobby Joe, I am so excited to hear from you as well. Um, like I mentioned earlier, you've been top of sales, top 10 sales, you know, um, within our team since the day you got here, girl, which is amazing. So we're super grateful that you have also agreed and volunteered to share your tips and tricks on, you know, what we should be doing to prepare for a convention. So I'm going to pass it over to you, girl. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, I got to tell you two mom things <laughs> because I can't stop laughing. My daughter's eating tomatoes and she's standing on the other side of my com computer screen with the tomato split open that looks like her lips. I can't do Can we see? <laughs> Are you out, girl? Oh, I just can't. So, like the whole time Hillary's laughing, I'm like, I'm not laughing at you, I swear. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, thank you so much, Hillary, for that information, honey. No, not right now. She's so silly. She wants to show you guys now. Um, thank you, Hillary, for sharing that information. And, you know, as always, I appreciate you because when you pave the way, like you said, when you are number one every single launch, people need to listen because obviously what you're doing is working. So I thank you for that. You guys, I'm just going to be really transparent and I'm going to try to talk fast because I don't want to keep you guys so long. One second. Okay, here, she did it. Come look. This is what she's doing with the <laughs> tomato. I love it. Yeah. Nice the side of the there you go. Whole time she's standing there as Hillary's, poor Hillary, I was not laughing at you, girl. Okay, so I just want to share some of the things that I've been doing. Um, if you guys have been here for a while, you've been through, you know, some things, right, in the, the company, which... Here's what I'm going to say about that. You've got to change the way you look at it. And it took a gut check for me to change the way I look at it because you're pioneering something great that is going to transform your life for generations to come. And if you continuously look at the problem and the things that are not happening and you think about all the things that are going wrong, that's the result that you're going to continue to get. But if you transition your perspective into what pioneering actually means, it means that you are paving a road. You are creating the path that that you think about your children's 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 walking down that path one day and you will all of a sudden have that fire built up so strong inside of you because you're going to want to create that path for the people who are walking behind you and not just about your family but the family's families and your community and the families over in Australia and the families in New Zealand and the families that you haven't touched yet in other countries that we're not even open in yet so you've got to change your perspective of what you are doing here pioneering is not easy but I want to tell you that it's worth it look at all the top leaders and companies that have been around for years and years and years already you think that their pioneering journeys were lollipops and rainbows and glitter everywhere. No, they went through some things, but they stuck to it. They did the things when the times were hard. They did the things when the times were easy. They did the things when times were sad or low. They did the thing, the time, or they did the things when times were high, right? And this is your moment. If you're not seizing this moment, you're missing out on something so trans transitional for what could happen for you this year. Forget the quarantine, forget the virus. What could happen for you within your business and your family this year if you do not seize this moment of what we have this weekend? I mean, it is massive. It is so massive and you've, if you just grab a piece of it, like Jesus said, when the lady passed by him, he said, who touched my robe? Who touched me? He, she didn't grab it, she touched it. Imagine if you just touch it, just touch the weekend, touch what it could mean for your family and watch it transform your life. So my tips are very similar to Hillary's. You guys, if you can't tell, I'm very fired up. I'm very excited. I have had the opportunity to try this product. Don't yell at me. I signed an NDA. I hope I'm not going to get in trouble, but it's freaking phenomenal. And it is the reason why I joined this company. It is. It has brought me back to day one, and I could not be more excited. I was actually talking to my husband about it today while he was out working, and I said, you know what fires me up is getting samples of this product in people's hands because no one will have the opportunity to say no. That's how amazing it is. Like, if you say no, I'm gonna ask you, what's wrong with you? Like, are you alive inside? Like, what is going on? Because this product, like, how are you not feeling this? Like, do you have a heartbeat? What's happening, right? 
So I'm just sharing that with you guys. Y'all are gonna wanna stock up on some samples because I think this is gonna sample 10 out of 10. Like every, every sample you send out, people are gonna be like, I gotta have it. It's got, I got it, what is it? Is it crack, is it real, is it, is it legal? Like what is it, right? And so you guys, here's what I'm doing. From day one, I've kept notes of all the people that I've sampled in the past. And I am going back heavily over every single sample that I've sent out and I'm reconnecting with them. And I'm saying, hey, you know, I know I sent you a sample of the coffee in the past. We actually have a really powerhouse product that's coming out this weekend. And I would love to update your sample. Are you open to that? Right? So I'm just getting my sample list ready. And I have, I think about 56 people on it already. And that's just for samples. Okay, so I'm going back over all of my old samples. And then I put up this really awesome post long, long, long ago when I first joined. And I had a ton of comments on there. And it was about sampling. And I'm going back through that entire post and every single person who commented on there, I'm going back and reconnecting with them saying the same thing. Hey, I would love to update your sample. We have something amazing coming out this weekend. Are you open? No, great, whatever. Yes, awesome. I'm gonna put you on my list and as soon as I get samples, I'm gonna connect with you again to get your address. Cool, awesome, wonderful, right? And my goal is then on Saturday when the product launches, I'm gonna message all of my people again on Saturday and say, hey, the product launch, I'm gonna need your address because I have 76 samples going out and I do not wanna miss you, okay? People who are business savvy or who have been in the industry or need some extra money are gonna be like, wait, you have 76 samples going out? What, that many people want this product? Like, wait, wait what, what's going on? Like, how do you have that many samples going out, right? Or thank you for allowing me to be a part of that 76, right? It's a big deal, guys. Don't be afraid to share, okay? Be transparent and share. Um, Fiorella, how many samples per person will you send? I do two, I'll do two sticks and then I do two Xanthamax. So like the little pack and then two sticks. That's usually what I send out. Uh, call or text before Saturday. That's just my sample list, Mark. I'm gonna just be messaging them on Saturday saying, hey, the product launched, I need your address. I've got X amount of samples going out. I don't wanna forget you, right? So that's just my samples. I'm gonna be following Hillary's advice, putting up um, a post. I have been dropping hints all week. Here's kind of some post ideas for people who have been here a while. When you're in the business, after a while, your network knows what you're doing. They know that you're doing coffee, they know that you're in a business, they know that you're selling a product. And when you start using words like shift or change or new, people start listening differently. They start to tune in again, even if they're in your network already. They start to watch your page differently. They're like, hey, what, what change? What's new? What's shifting? So it's a really great way for you to re-engage the network that you already have. And I'm not saying like, say things like, oh, I'm changing my opportunity. Don't be fake. Don't, don't hype it up. Don't do none of that. I've said things like this shift that's taking place is pure fire. This shift that I feel within my spirit is unstoppable. This change that I'm experiencing that's just right up ahead of me is, is something I'm not even gonna recognize in months to come. So making true statements, but using that terminology is gonna get people to look at your page differently. Does that make sense, guys? And your excitement needs to come through when you're talking about those key words. Those key words and your excitement paired together is gonna get maybe a fence sitter to say, Melissa, what is this change? Like, I know you've talked about, you've been excited and happy for months, but something seems different here. What is this, right? And it could just be that one post that could take a fence sitter to kind of message you and be like, okay, what's up? And I'll tell you guys, I had that happen over the week. A girl who I sent samples to months ago, months ago, she messaged me and she's in another company and she's like, okay, what is it? What is it? I just need to know, what is it? What is this change you're talking about? 
and then we had the conversation okay so those key words get people to look at your page differently um, I talked about old samples I actually went through and I printed out my customer list so if you guys have never done that before um, you I'm not tech savvy so don't yell at me but I don't know how to export export lists and I don't know how to download things and you know I just highlighted my customer you go to business you go to or you go to my business you go to my customers and I just highlighted the little page that comes up with like 25 people on it and then I right clicked my mouse and I printed out the sheet so like that's what I have is like a ton of sheets with names on them okay so like this is fancy appreciate my fancy right now okay <laughs> so <laughs> what I started doing is going through my current customer list and I think there's like 25 people on here and I started doing 25 messages a day messaging every single customer on here letting them know hey Melissa just wanted to let you know well first of all let me back the train hey Melissa how are you girl I'm checking in things have been super chaotic and crazy how are you all holding up okay started the conversation that way every single person has messaged me back oh my gosh it's crazy or oh my gosh we actually been doing really well blah 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 right and then I say I just wanted to let you know we're actually launching this new powerhouse product this weekend I know that you're going to get an email from our company all about it, but I wanted you to hear about it from me first. Okay. So I'm just planting the seed, giving them a heads up because all of my customers are in the your cup of happy page, all of them. So when that post, that teaser post goes up, I'm going to tag them on the post. So now that's two seeds that, that are planted. Right. And then when the product launches, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to message my customers again and just say, Hey, Melissa, just wanted to give you another heads up. Our product is launched. It will sell out because it is amazing. And so if you are interested, I wanted you to hear about it first so that you have the ability to just jump into your account, order it. Right. That's, that's what I plan to do. And I have been doing all week. So that's with my current customers, whether they order every month or they haven't ordered in a long time, I treat them all the same because they've trusted me at one point or another to purchase product from me. And you know, my customers become like my family. So I just, I check up on them. I love on them and I treat them all the same. Does that make sense for all my tech savvy, my non tech savvy friends? I got you. That's non tech savvy girl right here. <laughs> um, last, I wanted to say, um, actually two things I wanted to say. Using polls is huge. I plan to do exactly what Hillary said. I've been doing a lot of polls. I've gotten a lot of excitement going through polls. Every single time somebody comments on my poll, I always give them an out. I'm like, LOL, did you mean to comment on my post? And the, I talked to a lady today and she's like, actually my daughter was swiping through my phone and must have hit your, your poll on accident, but what is this magic coffee stuff? So even messaging people that you don't think mean to vote on your post, it still pans out sometimes to be really popular, right? So go ahead and message them anyway. I don't give any, any outs, Gabby. Yes, spit the fire, girl. Um, also in your cup of happy. So if you go through the members on your phone, all the people that you have personally added will show up in alphabetical order. And so every single day, I've been doing all my A's, all my B's, and then my C's and my D's, and then my E's and my F's. I've gone through the whole alphabet, and I wrote them all down on here so that when the teaser post goes on here, like you can see my notebook, on my notebook. Um, and so when the teaser post goes up in your cup of happy, I plan to literally tag every single person I've ever added into your cup of happy on that post, and then I'm going to message them. Right. I'm going to message them and be like, Hey, I don't want you to miss this. It's powerful. I'm going to share my personal testimony to it. And then I'm just going to ask, is this something you're ready to get started on? Right. Don't be afraid to ask those questions. All the work you're doing now is going to seem uh, tedious. It's going to seem like, man, I don't have any customers coming in today. I've messaged 45 people, but I'm telling you guys, if you put in the hours, you put in the work, you pioneer the way right now, this week, come this weekend, there's no doubt 
that your business has the opportunity to explode, but it's not just going to explode on its own. It requires you to put your foot down, say, I'm going to do it. Don't pause. Don't say, I'll get to it tomorrow because tomorrow never comes. Just go and do the dang thing. Okay. And then I wanted to just touch on one thing for newbies. So if you are brand new here in the team and all of that, you're like, I don't have people in your cup of happy. I've never sent out samples. What is this chick talking about? Well, let me just give you guys a tip. So when I first came in, you guys have the same opportunity that we all had as brand new, right? Except your product that you're coming in on over the weekend is, I can't even, like my head wants to explode. Do you guys know that emoji where the eyes are like this and like the head's popping out? Like that's what I feel like <laughs> every day. I'm like, I need that emoji to be like real life. Anyways, um, my advice to you is, for example, when I first started, I messaged my aunt. My aunt will never buy products from me, you guys, like ever. She'll never do it, but she has a really big network of people. So I messaged my aunt, I said, hey, I got this really cool thing that I really want you to try. I would love to send you a sample. Can you shoot me your address? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, also, I need you to send me five people that you think would want or would be interested in this as well. Connect me to them because that's how powerful this is. So I right away tapped into people's networks. So if you're brand new here, don't be afraid to right away lean on your warm market and ask for some referrals. It is a free gift. No one is gonna turn that away, guys. It's free. It's free 99, like it is free to them. Just say, I wanna send you a free sample. Would you give me your feedback? And if you sample this product, the feedback is gonna be, where do I buy it? Where do I buy it? That's gonna be your feedback. And that's how powerful it is. So that's all I have. I hope it helps. Again, thank you, Hillary. I hope you guys got something from that on my long rant, but that's it. Thanks for letting Girl. me share, Melissa. Of course. Woo! That was amazing. Seriously? Like chills, all fired up, all excited, ready to go. So many amazing tips. Thank you so much, Bobby Joe. Like again, solid gold. You girls inspire the hell out of me. Thank you so much. So good. You guys, here's the thing. I've been saying this since day one and it's only getting worse. And so I'm going to say it again. The urgency that I feel burning on the inside of me is only getting bigger and bigger and bigger because what we have, the reason that we ask the question, have you heard of the happy coffee everyone's been talking about? Because we know they're going to say no. Guess what? One day they're going to start saying yes, yes, and yes, and yes. We're going to have to tweak that script up, right? But the beauty of what we have right now is people do not know what this is. We have the ability to be the pioneer, like the girls talked about. We have the ability to launch this, to change lives, to impact people in ways that we never even dreamed of, you guys. So again, and I will say it until I'm blue in the face and I almost stand because I can't even breathe because I'm also out of shape because I don't work out enough. I just drink a lot of coffee. Here's the deal. Guys, run with this, okay? Ricky told me over a year ago when I got started, Melissa, if you run with this thing, you will not be able to recognize your life a year from now. I had a hard time believing all of that because that's just who I am, but I wanted to believe like this much and I clung onto that little tiny teeny piece of hope I had in myself and in this business and I ran like hell. And all I did was follow the script, done things with excitement, sample, sample, sample. He told me this business is built on samples, Melissa, and I'm like, ugh, I don't want a sample, but I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, somebody is screen sharing. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how to change it. Anyways, guys, here's the deal. Build your business on samples. Another thing I want you guys to understand, if you cannot, if you genuinely cannot afford to pay for a bunch of samples and send them out for free, this one's for you. I had an idea. What if you just charged $5 and said, hey, if you're interested in a weekend or experience, it's five bucks. Here's the deal. It's not going to cover the full cost of the sample, but it's going to give you a little bit of money back. And also it's going to ensure those stinking people drink it <laughs> and they don't just throw it on their counter. Right? Um, so that is an option. You can do that. There are people who do charge a little bit for samples if you can't swing it for free. Okay. Putting that out there. But at the end of the day, you guys, that urgency is so alive in my heart, in my head, can't sleep at night. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm thinking about how am I going to help people? How are we going to make this thing, you know, bigger? How are we going to 
you know, take this thing to the top. How are we going to get this person to where they need to be? That person to where they need to be. Guys, have that urgency. Take, take a sliver of that and run with it, okay? Because what we have does change lives. It does help people. It impacts people in a really big way. And exactly like you said, Bobby Joe, it's not just about us. It's about the people that we can help. And it's also about the legacy that we're creating with our families. I'm going to tell you right now, I have lived paycheck to paycheck my whole damn life. Okay. That four letter word stops now. Okay. I'm not accepting that in my life anymore. My kids are not going to accept that in their lives either because I'm changing it. Nobody else out there is coming to change that for me, but me. And I know that that is possible with this opportunity. Okay. I'm going to, I'm speaking differently. I'm thinking differently. I'm teaching my kids differently because of this opportunity, you guys straight up. That's it. Right. With passion, with heart, with fire, running with this thing, because what we have is amazing, you guys. And it has the ability to change your life. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. We love you so much. Again, thank you very, very much ladies for sharing. You're absolutely incredible. I love you so much. I am like still like what's the word? I'm like, uh, I can't even think right now. I'm like starstruck that you guys are like here on this team and like sharing. I'm like, ah, like amazing. Well beyond my wildest dreams. So thank you guys. We love you so much. And, um, let's kill it guys. You can unmute if you want to say bye and all the things. Thank you everybody. Bye. Thanks Bobby Joe. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Hey, quick question. Question, Bobby. Is Bobby Joe still on? What's that, Bob? Is Bobby Joe still on? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. So I, I missed um, getting the alphabetical listing. It was go to your cup, go to members, then what? So in the members. Yeah, in the members, it's going to show all the people you've added. It's going to show all the people that you're friends with first. And so what happens? She's just going through that list okay. and, and contacting those people. Okay. It's so just click on members. It shows my list. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank exactly. you. Have a good night, quit guys. Picking, quit guys. picking on Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. I couldn't think of another name fast enough. <laughs> Sorry. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. bye.